Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video that I got tagged in by Fina from Fina Reads. So thank you for tagging me and for giving me the motivation to kind of get back to booktube. Uh, this is the first time I've filmed in a while so I'm excited to be back. So this tag was created by Jake at the Bookish Drummer so I'll leave his original video tagged down below as well. Um, anyway, I didn't even see what tag this is. This is the uh, Would You Rather Impossible book tag. So I'm excited to see how impossible it is. So let's just get started. Question number one is would you rather be able to, would you rather only be able to reread your favorite book once every 10 years or be forced to read your least favorite book once a year? This is kind of an easy answer for me. I would absolutely rather be able to only read my favorite book every 10 years rather than reread my least favorite every year because when I don't like a book it is impossible for me to read it. So like having to have that book uh, to like read every year that I just hate, I don't even know what book that is as my least favorite book but just knowing that I would have to read it would just be terrible for me. And uh, only being able to reread my favorite book once every 10 years. I mean, I don't even know what my favorite book would be also, but I mean, I don't reread that often anyway, as much as I want to. I really don't get around to it as often as I'd like. So once every 10 years seems reasonable to me. Uh, there's always other things to be reading. So I'm definitely okay with being able to reread my favorite book only once every 10 years. Just like Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, if she can only see her husband once every 10 years, I can I can deal with rereading my favorite book only once every 10 years. Uh, question number two is, would you rather be forced to get rid of all of your books by your favorite author or get rid of your entire library besides your favorite author? <sighs> this one is hard because like, who is my favorite author? I guess, I guess I would consider Brandon Sanderson to be my favorite author at the moment. Oh, but there's so many other books I love. I think I would get rid of all of my favorite books or all of my books from my favorite author rather than get rid of all my books other than those. Just because I could get those from the library, I could get them as audiobooks, all that. Uh, and I would much rather do that for just... There's a lot of playing going by, hold on. I would much rather have to just get Brandon Sanders Brandon Sanderson's books from the library than having to get like all of these books from the library if I wanted to reread them. So I would get rid of all my books from my favorite author. Question number three is would you rather only be able to read very short books less than 300 pages or very long books 700 plus pages? That's the one, <laughs> this is the hardest one so far. Because a lot of my favorite books end up being those really long books, but they are bad for me in terms of my reading. I think either way I'm kind of screwed. Oh my God, the planes. Okay, if you can hear the planes, sorry, but I'm sick of waiting for them. Uh, I think either way I'm gonna be screwed with less than 300 pages or more than 700 but I think I would be less screwed if I was only if I was limited to uh 700 or pages or more books just because I do like a lot of really long books like Green Rider some of these books are pretty long the Stormlight Archive uh depending on the edition of like Mistborn some of those are pretty long so I think I would just have better luck in general reading really long books even though I think that would be terrible for my like reading confidence I guess because like lately your long books have been taking me a long time to read which makes sense <laughs> but then that kind of has me feeling a little bit like oh well I never finish anything so having those short books to kind of like be like hey I finished something is really nice so if I only had long books to read I think that would cause me to spiral, spiral a little bit. Uh, question number four is would you rather your favorite series get a terrible adaptation or never be adapted? never be adapted. That's easy. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know. 
I like, as I'm getting older, I'm liking a lot more adaptations and I don't think it's necessarily because they're getting better. I think it's just because I'm allowing myself to like be less strict about how an adaptation needs to be. But I do think that I would rather not have an adaptation at all. Um, in terms of bad adaptations, what I think of is Aragon. That movie was trash. Like, even, not even from an adaptation standpoint, just from like, here is this movie. It was bad. <laughs> um, another one would be the uh, M. Night Shyamalan Avatar movie. Bad. Uh, so like, I, again, I don't know what my favorite book is, but picturing my favorites, would I rather not see them? Or would I rather see them like the Aragon movie? And I would not because I know I would not be okay with that. So no adaptation for my favorites rather than a bad one. Question number five, would you rather an unfinished series have a terrible ending or remain unfinished forever? <laughs> I, this is so hard for me because with a lot of series, the ending is what determines like how I like it. So if it doesn't, nail the landing then it's not going to be a favorite series of mine but on the other hand if it's never finished i think i would rather have it never be finished because then at least i couldn't like i'm not disappointed because i don't actually know what happens but whereas if it was finished and it was bad then i would be disappointed um so i can kind of make up in my own head what the ending is going to be <laughs> and that my disappointment is reliant purely on what I can come up with in my head rather than the actual book that was put out. So I think I'd rather it be unfinished which if I had to read all series being unfinished I think that would drive me insane. Uh, question number six, would you rather you cut your reading time in half or cut your book buying budget in half? This is easy book buying budget. I'm already trying to spend less money on books. So not that I have an actual like physical number that I'm spending on books, but uh, if the amount I had to spend on books was halved, that would be good because I don't need to be, I don't need to be buying more books. I do love buying books. Obviously I have a lot of books, but I would just like to develop better habits around buying books and I already don't have too much time to read or I don't actually spend that much time reading so I don't want that cut in half. Yeah that one was easy. <laughs> this one's gonna be hard. Question number seven. Would you rather be forced to listen to audiobooks at three times speed or half speed? Half time speed would actually kill me but I wouldn't be able to understand anything at three times speed. So like, there's no right answer to this. Honestly, if this was the choice I had to make, I would not listen to audiobooks anymore, <laughs> which I know is not uh, an answer, an option, but I think I would choose half time speed. Oh my God, that would be torture. But then I wouldn't understand anything if it was fast. Okay, it's gonna be half time speed, but I don't think I would actually listen to anything like going forward from that point. <laughs> uh, question number eight. This is actually a good question to go after that one. But would you rather only be able to read physically or only be able to read audiobooks? Audiobooks. Uh, I love reading physically but there are some times where I just cannot do it. And I will always be down to listen to an audiobook. So I have to go with audiobooks. So as long as I don't have to listen on three times speed or half speed, the answer is audiobooks. Some of the time when I'm having a hard time reading a book physically and I switch to the audiobook, it just suddenly works so much better for me. So definitely audio is like, I don't know if I'd say it's my preferred way to read, but it's definitely just as important to me as physically reading. Uh, question number nine, would you rather be stuck reading a mix of three and four star books or read a mix of one and five star books? 
Well, I feel like I have been stuck in one of these situations for a little while, so I would definitely choose the other one. Uh, I feel like recently I've kind of just been reading three or four star books and it is like, I mean, a four star book is still a good book, but it's not like a book you're like crying, uh, like staring at the ceiling when you finish it, like you're not having dreams about it. It's not consuming your thought during every waking moment and like that's the experience I want. So even though four star book is still good, I would much rather read only one and five star books. In theory, I could just DNF the one star books. Like as soon as I'm like, this is not gonna be good, I can just DNF it. And then everything I'd be reading was a five star book, which that's the experience I want. Uh, so that one is definitely my answer. Cause yeah, lately has just been a lot of three and four star books. Question number 10 is, would you rather only watch your favorite booktuber or watch everyone besides your favorite booktuber? Um, this one is interesting because I don't actually watch that much booktube other than like my friends. So it's, it would be weird being like, um, you're my favorite friend. So either now I'm not gonna watch your videos or I'm only gonna watch your videos. <sighs> I would rather watch everyone besides my favorite booktuber because like I said, most of the booktubers I watch are my friends. So if I picked a favorite, then I could just talk to them and get that information from their videos via talking to them. Whereas that would be a lot harder if I had to do that with multiple people. <laughs> That's the only reason why. <laughs> I don't like that answer. I don't like that question. Um, anyway, the last part of the tag is to tag people. So I'm gonna tag four people. I don't know if there's like a number you're supposed to tag, but anyway, I'm gonna tag Ash from Books to Ashes, Christy from Christy's Cozy Corner, Sophia from Sophia's Thoughts, and Elle from Elia Brooks. I'm not sure which of you do tag videos anymore, but consider yourself tagged. And that is it. If I made any poor decisions on these would you rather questions, let me know down below. But other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you again, Fina, for tagging me in this video and for motivating me to post videos again. And that's it. I'll see you all next time. Bye.